down without having even having to take a duel. And that's probably what that smoke in the end was meant for. But look how many CTs are going to be in the action. LDLC needs to find a way to double peek this, and they're just not double peeking. They're peeking one by one, and it's an absolute cleanup for Apex. Two for Nork, one for JL, one for Sticko, one for Kixan. And there's no reason not to go for this one. You're 3v2, and you can buy next round anyway. This could be a big boon to the economy. Now, Amanek again in an advanced position, which could work out for him. And Nork will go back to collect that M4. So that's a bit of a buff to this retake. But of course, hitless. And that's the biggest issue. Sam sees it on Amanek. And now he knows it's just to not peek anymore. He has to continue hiding. Now it's only down to Brooksy. And he's got one HP to spare. He's on for the ace now with Brooksy. He can't get it. And I think... Oh, no. Yeah, looking to go aggressive this time. Apex do like this strategy, just pushing straight through the outskirts of A, and it's going to work out nicely, you think. They should catch a player in the back here. Gravity forced to jump into E-Box. Now kicks him in a lot of trouble. Surely he doesn't get two. Yes, he only gets one. And now Nork with the AWP pressured up close. The rest of the Mac 10 bullets from Sticko. And Gravity, I should say, should recover it. And Sticko actually does a great job of just roughing through that smoke. It's a bit of a fiesta in toward coming up from canals with E-Box right in front of him. Could be here pretty quickly. And Sticker coming in from a big flank with the Org. JL no kit. Another close two versus two in this game. JL working his way up. Amanek got the line and the perfect position as well. He knows where Sticko is. And now he just needs to play time. Sticko is healthy. Amanek needs to be careful. Sticko goes for the swing. But Amanek gets DLC away. And look at Kickstand again on the big flank. And Brooksy gets caught there. With Snobbling low HP, this is a round that should be in Apex's favour again. Kicksand actually switching to the AK and he realises that player's coming his way and Gravity doesn't realise that he's close. Surely they would have heard him in that position, but Kicksand's stepping up for every single kill. He even dinks Afro as well. Kicksand a chance to defend once again. Multi-fragging master Kicksand at the end of this CT half. Three... Two. Now two again. Could even make it more. Make it four in the end. Kickstarter's looking for an ace to finish this one off. Afro with the deagle. Finally finds Jake. What are you supposed to do about that? The first couple of bullets just got you two insta-kills. And Snobbling gets it done. Sticko. And you have a chance to use his utility, but the answer could still go back, come back in response here. JL's found himself a kill back, and now, what's going on here? How is JL just in the open? How was he jumping at Amanek? Why was he not ready to get the kill? Oh, it could have easily been 10 rounds apiece. I mean, just look how it went before. If, if LDLC won that eco, they'd have been on 10. LDLC, uh, Apex, sorry, would have been on 11 at this point. It would have been a difference of one round now, rather than a difference of four. Actually has to run through it. Don't ask me why he needs to run through that. Makes no sense to me. Take damage for no reason, but he decides to anyway. And JL's already found an opening. Make that a second as well. This round could be done. JL's trying to finish one off all by himself, but now Amanek needs to push forward. If he doesn't get this kill, the game's over. Sticko looking back and forth, tapping the side of the head. That's fine, but in the meantime... The MP9 of Brooksy needs to step up, and it does beautifully. Now it's just Nork versus Amanek on the MP9, and Nork might just decide to take the straight-up duel here. Ignore the bomb plant in, t in its entirety. He's got one bullet in the clip, but it doesn't matter. The AWP nerf does not... Kixan may still have utility, but Apex 3v5. Can they get somehow get themselves across the site and into a possible bomb plant scenario? I don't think so. There are going to be three players to face in this bit second or two. There we go. It's a wipeout for Afro. Two for him, two for Amanek. Fine, but not perfect after only winning the two rounds. Sticker waiting for some aggression from Brooks. And he's just got himself into the cubby first. And he manages to recover the kill. Actually doesn't take as much damage as I thought he would there, Sticko, from that particular scenario. Is he aware of Amanek pushing him down? I'm not sure if he is. And there you go. Amanek takes Nork in the end anyway. Actually not Sticko to go down. Drops the bomb and then Sticko needs to get this kill but can't. It's a great recovery, and Afro has covered his teammates back as well as JL tried to advance. The entire squadron in Jaguar. Kickstarter manages to pre-fire one out of the round, the nade will certainly help out. But there are still three more players here, and somehow he actually gets away with a second there. He thought he'd be a guaranteed death, Afro. <laughs> actually, JL didn't know which player to fight there. It's very messy, but with Jacob on the edge of that one, 
Amalek might want to try and boost him again, and Afro just guesses Jacob's position. There was no information on that one whatsoever. What a pick, and now they can swarm. It's going to be a big issue for Apex on this retake, and Afro gets himself a third. Nork is now 1v5, locked in toward Cave. There's a kit on Snobbling as well. He'll be the one to now jump on this one. Amanek rushes in with the Zeus and gets it done. What on earth is going on? The smoke. They both have kits. Nork. Still not seeing anything as of yet. In comes the smoke onto the bomb, but the spray should be pretty easy for two players in that one position. Flash comes in. Nork will avoid that one though. Looks he'll be sent in, removed, on the bomb, defuse. But Nork removed pretty decent position because he can look back toward the bomb and he can look ahead too. Amalek looking to try and pick that up and now Sticko's going to be creeping his way in. Amalek looks the wrong way and Sticko gets it. What a tight pistol round that was. A Bye for Apex is still good with the bank that JL had built up with that shotgun. And just to drop an orb over to Nork. And Jacob just going aggressive anyway. And he's removed both players. Even looking for a third. And he finds it. LDLC looked absolutely clueless in that position there. As soon as Jacob got that opening kill. There was basically no foolproof plan. No insurance policy. Again, as a line to the corner of that smoke, the buy is removed just like that. Snap of a finger, LDLC cancelled out, and there was not really much to analyse of that one. Jacob looking to assert his dominance once again. Brooksy's been spotted. Insta headshot. Next, there is utility, of course, but Nort can still stick around on this one. Smoke up. And he shows his presence in toward the back of A. But look where Kixan is. Again, he's got the perfect position. And time is a big issue here for LDLC. 15 seconds. In goes Sticko. Gets himself one. Snobbling will trade. But then they have no clue that Kixan's still here. Perfect team play from Apex. And they'll figure out 